The United States says its forces, along with Britain's, have fought off the largest attack so far on shipping lanes in the Red Sea. U.S. Central Command said no injuries nor damage were reported. The Iran-backed Houthis, who control most of Yemen, have been targeting the route to show their support for Hamas amid Israel's bombardment of Gaza. The attacks have disrupted international commerce on the key route between Europe and Asia that accounts for about 15 percent of the world's shipping traffic. Uh, there have been uh, hundreds of attacks now since uh, November uh, on shipping in the Red Sea, affecting um, more than 40 countries tied to, to ships with, uh, from 40 different countries. Uh, and uh, we had the biggest attack, UAVs, missiles, just yesterday. These attacks have been aided and abetted by Iran with technology, equipment, uh, intelligence, information, and they are having a real-life impact on people. You know, we talk about concepts like freedom of navigation and the importance of holding it, and I know that can sound a little bit um, abstract, but it means something very real in the lives of people. What's happened because of these Houthi attacks against commercial shipping is that thousands of ships have had to divert, uh, take longer routes, pay more for insurance, and that gets translated into higher prices for people for everything from uh, fuel to medicine to food. It's disrupting supply chains, and so it's having a real impact on people around the world. <laughs> These attacks against vessels in the Red Sea pose a direct threat to the lives, to freedom of navigation, and to global trade in one of the world's most critical waterways. And despite what the Houthis may say, they are threatening and targeting commercial vessels with ties to countries all over the world, many of which have no connection to Israel whatsoever. These attacks are unlawful, they're reckless, and they're escalatory. The Houthis have a choice to make. Uh, uh, we, we've warned them. Uh, we put ships in the Red Sea. They've got a choice to make, and uh, the right choice is to stop these attacks. And as I said again, I'll say it three times now, they'll bear the consequences for failure to do so.